tell you today that I know that many of us are in a dungeon and we are going through things in our lives that we want out of. Right. We want deliverance. We want a breakthrough. We want God to do something mighty and special. Yes. But so many times when we try to cry out and pray to God and ask God to help us and deliver us, it seems like there is no answer. Yes. It seems like things are only getting worse. And Lord, if you don't come through and help me, things will only get worse. And I'm afraid that somewhere along the line, my life, amen, may be lost. So God, I need you to come through for me. And so, my brothers and sisters, when we're down in the dungeon in our prayer night, and it seems like we are not getting any answers from God, then we must look at why my prayer is not being answered. And so, my brothers and sisters, let me give you several points and I'll be done about why your prayers may not be answered. Amen. And so, point number one, if we want to look at why your prayers are not answered, the reason why a lot of people's prayers are not answered is because they doubt. They have doubt in their heart and therefore God cannot do anything for them because they are not trusting in him enough to believe that God is going to do or answer their prayer and do for them what they have asked God to do. All you got to do is believe God and never doubt and you can rest assured that God will answer your prayer. Amen. Even if it seems like ain't nothing happening and God didn't hear you, you got to believe that he heard you and you got to believe that it's going to come through. Because the moment you doubt God is the moment that your prayer, hallelujah, will not be a prayer for a breakthrough. If you will go with me to the book of Mark chapter 11 and verse number 23. Hallelujah. For most assuredly I tell you, Whoever may tell this mountain, be taken up and cast into the sea, and doesn't what? Doubt in his heart. But what? Believe that what he says is happening. So when I don't doubt, how can I know what I'm not doubting? Because I believe that that is happening. I know I, I'm going through every psychological and emotional and physical uh, 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 experience that I can have that I will experience and go through even when uh, uh, I haven't seen it but even when I pray and I don't have doubt I believe that it happened I, I'm going through I'm happy I'm feeling good and in my mind it is like it is done or like I have already had that thing and I'm experiencing it because you know when God answers we rejoice when God answers and when the breakthrough comes and when things happen we thank God so when you pray and not doubt and you believe it is happening, then you got to act like that. you got to go through those uh, emotions and that process. you got to be happy. you got to say, thank you, Lord, for doing this for me. you got to feel like it's happening. you got to feel like it has already happened. you got to think like it already happened. you got to act like it's already happened. Or otherwise, you are doubting. And so Jesus said that you must not doubt. If you doubt, amen, in your heart, Amen. Uh, you can, you will not get whatever you ask for. But if you don't doubt and believe that what you say is happening, it shall, he shall have whatever he says. Right. Hallelujah. So, let's look at James chapter 1 and verse number 5, if you will, please. James chapter 1 and verse number 5. Thank you, Lord. But if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. Uh, let me skip on down because I want to move out here. But let him ask in faith without any what? Doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven by the wind. One minute you're thinking this and the next minute you're thinking that. You're a double-souled person. You think in two ways. You can't get what you want. You can't pray and ask God for something with a two soul. You have to have a single mind, a single heart. Your heart has to be completely and totally dedicated to Him. You have to give God your whole self. You have to lie and put all your trust in Him. It's kind of like putting all your eggs in one basket. Yes, Lord, I'm relying on you. And if you don't come through, everything is going to fall. Everything is going to fail. I don't have no backup plan. The only plan that I have is you coming through for me. And I'm solely relying on you to bring me deliverance and help. And so you cannot doubt God, but you must believe that he has, he's going to do just what you ask of him to do. You got to see it happening. You got to feel it happening. You got to go through the emotional experience. You got to go through the psychological experience. You got to imagine that you are already brought through. 
people don't get their prayers answered is because they doubt. 